All right, guys and girls, it is your boy Tigu back again. And you know, a couple of years ago, I uploaded a video of uh, an apartment tour in rural Japan. You know, that was my apartment. So now, years later, we're back once again with another <laughs> epic freaking tour, guys. Today, we're gonna be doing a tour. I'm actually staying at my friend's house right now. This is a Japanese house. So we're gonna be doing a tour of a equivalent to 500,000 half a million dollars in rural semi-rural Japan all right now let's let's just take a look at the surroundings real quick so check it out look at the view so when we say rural in Japan you know it's not like rural in like Texas or anything where it's just like literally uh, tumbleweeds and like cows and stuff rural just means like there's not much uh, city action there's not many restaurants around there's not min that many supermarkets around and there's a lot of you know this rice fields and nature and such around so uh, that's typically what they call rural they say inaka but yeah this is not super it's actually this this town this city is kurashiki it's actually not super rural but the specific area uh, that we're in right now of it is somewhat rural as you can see it kind of looks like the place that i used to live in in siyama but yeah i the view is uh freaking beautiful though but anyways so we're gonna show you I'm show you this uh, house right it's a Japanese style house it's my friend's house letting me stay here it's pretty big there's a lot of compartments and stuff and I can't go in some of the rooms because they're the uh, grandparents rooms the parents rooms and that would be just very disrespectful to just be all up in there but we're gonna show you what we can okay so here we go this is a Japanese style house as opposed to a uh, wow my eye looks so bright look right there boom as opposed to a more modern style home, this is a Japanese style home. You can see it's made out of wood and stuff, and it has the uh, kawara tiles as the top. You know, it's a uh, stone tiles, just like back in the old days, and it looks really nice. But actually, it makes the house really hot because these stone tiles, right? It holds the heat in, and these stone tiles are black or gray, so it really keeps the heat in. I'm staying in the second floor up there and it is super hot up there. All right, so let's just take a look at uh, some of the surroundings. He's got a walkway leading to the front door, front entrance. And you know, it's really safe in Japan, so like literally the doors open all the time. He just has the windscreen for the bugs. And he's kind of got like a rock garden here uh, with a lot of pet rocks, you know? Um, some of these rocks have grown tremendously in their time. Uh, you know, they, we all start out as little pebbles on the floor, right? And then uh, through nurture, nourishment, they become these huge giant rocks. <laughs> okay, so let's keep going. Oh, shoot, cicada. Oh my gosh, cicada attack. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the parents' rooms right here. All right, let's go to the back real quick, shall we? While we're outside, because once I get inside, I'm staying inside because it is hot as hell out here. All right, walking around to the back side now. All right. So, right here, he's got a little garage compartment, but he actually doesn't, look, check it out, whole separate compartment, you know, just for his own house. Look at the wood. Now, he doesn't actually use this for, my friend doesn't actually use this as a garage because he's got a lot of things in here. Let's take a look inside what does he have in here. Let's find out. Check it out. Oh my goodness. This is where he keeps, so he often holds barbecues and stuff and he keeps all his barbecue equipment in here. His bike's in here as well. Uh, he used to, uh, there's this barbecue hat. <laughs> used to do some weights as well, so he's got weights in here. And then there's even an upstairs to this place. But then huge refrigerator compartment, freezer. All right, I've actually never been upstairs. Let's go take a look at upstairs and see what's up there. Let's see what he's hiding up there, you know what I'm saying? Let's see. It's two-story garage, so crazy. Oh, wow, it's just, oh, dang. Wow, he must be doing like some car modeling and stuff in here with that. Wow, didn't realize it's so empty up here. Okay, it's so humid, I'm starting to sweat. Excuse me, guys, if I start sweating profusely and glistening and looking just really freaking attractive in this video, so. <laughs> Let's go inside, shall we? From the front door. That would make the most sense. You know, years ago, people were like complaining, complaining like, people were complaining like, oh my gosh, the lighting's so bad. And little did they realize, I lived in a freaking 
apartment that cost a hundred dollars a month and so the lights were actually on in the living room. It's just, it's just that bad. And my camera wasn't as good as it is now, probably. So, anyways, let's go into the front, shall we? Ba boom. So here is the Genkan, the entrance area, where you gotta take your shoes off if you're an Asian household. Ba boom. All right. So, this is one of the parents or grandparents or. Uh, Mother's room right there. Another one here. So, yeah, as you can see, it's like uh, these traditional houses that typically they don't have big beds, you know? Um, it's just futons on the ground and then pillows like that, which I actually like. But then there are slidey doors on all the rooms. And so the big thing about living in a traditional household like this, well, actually in most Japanese homes is there's no central AC. You have to buy air conditioning units um, that will cover a certain amount of space, so in separate rooms and they'll have air conditioning units and you will see that in a second. That uh, actually cools you, cools you down. Let's go to Yuya's room. I'm sure he won't mind over here. We got a restroom with an auto-functioning light. Oh my goodness, wow, look at that. Just walked in and turned on by itself. Some cat toilets, of course, with a nice wash lid. Can wash your butt for you, heck yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, we'll see all the controls. Very good. And let's go into Yuya's room, see what kind of nasty stuff. No, just kidding. Yeah, so you see he's got his, it's just a mattress on the floor. All right. Uh, all right, my camera should be good enough to where you guys can see this time without complaining. <laughs> camera should be good enough, the light should be bright enough, but yeah, there's his mattress that he sleeps on. And here's a futon just in case, you know, he wants to have any friends over, maybe invite the ladies over. No, just kidding. He doesn't even have a chair for his computer because as you can see, in a traditional Japanese house, there's tatami mats. All right, it's uh, you know, it's actually really good for the summer because these do not keep the heat in, and they kind of, um, since there's so much space in between, it really like lets the air circulate. So it's actually cooler than a normal just ground. So yeah, this is Yu's room, and let's continue. Over here, we've got the separate bathroom area. So you open it, that takes you straight to outside. We were just we were just there, that's where the uh, garage thing is. But this is like the bath area. Um, this is the room outside, there's no locks or anything. So when someone's in here, you pretty much like, hey guys, I'm taking a shower, don't peek. Might have a heart attack. <laughs> so yeah, like this. Anyways, and then here is the actual uh, bath shower place. Right here, boom. You got the handle, the shower, you shower, and it's a wet room, so you can just shower right here. While ground gets all wet, doesn't matter. There's the bathtub. And you know, something really that I like about Japanese households a lot, just Japanese homes in general, is that look how deep the tub is. It goes really deep because Japanese people love taking baths and it helps you circulate your blood and everything. And some people say that that's the secret to Japanese people living so long because they take, typically, they take baths every night. And you, we can do. They can soak their whole bodies in it because the bathtub is so deep. Unlike you know, in American households, I feel like the the tub is very shallow. And then that, then we we always have like a um, we always have a uh, a little drain like right here. So it's like as soon as the water level raises a little high, it just starts draining. But in Japan, they don't have to worry about that because even if the water overflows from the bathtub, it's always a wet room. So right there, it just goes in there. So there's no there's no chance of flooding like that. So that's really nice. Okay. Anyways, let's move on. Interesting bathroom. I like, I like. It's wet because I just used it. <laughs> now let's look at the kitchen. So far there's been no air conditioning when I'm walking, so I'm just starting to sweat. But here we got the air conditioning on. Oh, here we are. So this is the kitchen. And you can see the uh, air conditioning unit is, whoa, it's really dark now. Okay, the air conditioning unit is right there. And that's providing like enough coolness for this whole room so yeah this is the kitchen area very nice like many drawers got the wood floor here many trash cans she said I could grandma's right there said I could have some tomatoes if I wanted them but I'm <laughs> too good for now and huge sink this is so nice I wish I had a big, big sink in America you got right there yeah. and behind there that's the uh, the room that we were just walked by so that's the kitchen. So now, 
let's go upstairs. Now notice here, this is really like, uh, <laughs> it's difficult. The steps are super shallow, like they're tiny, you see? Like my foot doesn't even, my foot doesn't even fit on it. And I only have a size nine or nine and a half foot. So you gotta be careful with these Japanese steps. Whoop. Yep. It curls suddenly, wow! You can see outside, it's really hot. Oh my gosh, the view. Oh, this one turns the lights on for the staircase. And here's one of the restrooms for upstairs. Boom, there it is. No air conditioning, so it's super hot and humid up here because we're in the upper floor. And as you guys, uh, if you're taking science classes, you know that uh, heat rises up. So all the heat's like up here on the second floor. So it's really hot. Like, see I'm starting to sweat already. Like every time I'm sitting on this restroom, uh, trying to, you know, do some business right, <laughs> make million dollar deals, I just start sweating. Yeah, also equipped with a washlet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right here. Upstairs sink area to, you know, um, do your, to uh, take care of your teeth and all that stuff like that. I don't know why there's a stove here as well. I guess like this just makes it easier. Like if you want to cook a little something something right here, you could, you know. But uh, it's really hot right here. There's no air conditioning unit in this whole corridor. So it's just extremely hot. Now let's go to the last room then guys, which is gonna be the room that I'm staying in. And this is the one, boom, wow. Look, the wooden walls. It's actually kind of hot in here now because I didn't turn the air conditioner on. Oh, sure, just turn it on. Yeah, so that's the uh, AC unit right there. And that keeps this whole room cool. And then as you can see, it's really messy right now. But this is, this is just a storage room and she's letting, or their um, family's letting me stay in this room. But normally it's just a storage room, but they've actually uh, improved a little bit every day. Got the curtains up now. Um, yep, and you can see Here's the futon, the pillow that we're sleeping on. But yeah, like I said though, it's extremely hot upstairs because of the uh, the roof tile, just like trapping all the heat inside for the nighttime. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. That is what this house consists of and it's what like Japanese um, houses are really expensive because land is so expensive here. That's why they're always building up as opposed to building wide um, property. So that's why their malls and everything is super high, high stories. And they go many stories as opposed to a wide area because they don't have, those, have so much space. But yeah, that's pretty much what you can expect. Something similar to this in a typical traditional Japanese household. So guys, hope you enjoyed this one. And maybe I'll see you in a few years for another tour. <laughs> but until then, peace!